Hey YouTube, new guy here. here with our good buddy KJ up at the Huron National Forest. We're gonna go over the ultimate apocalypse zombie shit hits the fan survival vehicle, the Rokon. Kevin's had this for about three years now. It's a great little vehicle. You see it's chain driven on both wheels, disc brakes. Can you tell us about it, Kevin? All the nifty little things that this thing's capable of. It, the pedals down here are just for your feet, so you don't have to worry about shifting. There's no shifting. It's just a, um, like a big mini bike. Brakes are up top. It can go in 24 inches of water, 24 inches of snow. You can actually float it on its side, as long as you keep the air cleaner above the water so you lay it on this side because the tires and the rims are hollow. Um, you can store extra gasoline. As you can see, there's a cap down there, so you can store an extra, uh, I think it's two gallons in each one. Uh, it's got a 2.8 gallon gas tank. And there's no air in the tires, right? Uh, there's like three to five PSI oh, okay. each tire. A very so, small amount. Yeah, it's really uh, kind of rides like a marshmallow. It's more of a billy goat. Um, one of the complaints I see is people talk about the speed, but on a single track, I don't see any reason why you'd need any more than this. You know, probably yeah. goes 30, 40 miles. Yeah, it gets up to about 40 miles per hour. Yeah, you're I, smoking I, me on that Honda back there. Right. It's but hard to not, keep up with you. You're not going that fast on a trail. If you want something for speed, I know motocross guys get all upset about this bike, but that's not why I bought it. Yeah, it's not for that. No, but it can pull 3,000 pounds. Um, I've got the hitch. Um, I've pulled that four wheeler out of the mud before. Um, it can go up a 60 degree curve. Um, I bought it actually because I've seen these things, I've seen ones from the 1960s, still worth four or five grand. It will hold its value and any hardware or uh, small engine repair place can fix it. All the uh, parts are made in America. A lot of times people think because it's called a Rokon, they think it's made in China, like some of the cheap ripoffs. But this is actually one of the only American bikes other than the Harley Davidson. Um, so the parts are made in America and everything, I believe these are all half inch bolts. So everything's real simple. If you needed parts, you could just go to a hardware store and we do it. It's basically just a lawnmower motor, right? Mm -hmm. like it's a Kolar 18 horse engine. Um, so again, it's low end power. Oh, to shift, it doesn't have gears, but there's three speeds here. So all the way in is third. That'll take you up to your top speed. So basically you put it in gear. Um, if you know that that's, you know, you want to go the top speed, maybe where you're cruising 30, 40 miles per hour. When I'm on the trails, 99% of the time I'm in third gear. Second gear is probably 15 to 20 miles per hour. I rarely use it, to be honest. First gear is maybe five miles per hour, kind of like the old Jeeps. If you were going to pull, they make a ton of accessories. They actually make plows. Um, yeah, this thing's actually much. rated as farm equipment, right. right? On the title, it says a moto tractor. So it's used for, um, you can actually use it as a farm implement. I bought it because it's simple to maintain. Um, I'm an idiot. I don't know anything about mechanical stuff, so I figure anybody who has some slight inclination can keep it running for me. That's all I got. Oops, sorry. Speak up. No. Well, we're about done anyways. <laughs> but, all right, yeah, it's a nifty little vehicle. Um, for uh, ever that there's ever a uh, EMP or something knocks out all the power everywhere, this thing does not have a battery. Um, very little electrical parts and just to run the, the little headlight that it's got um, basically just a lawnmower on wheels um, it goes pretty quick like Kevin said uh, 18 horsepower um, it's pretty neat so that's what we got for today have a nice day